What's up guys, it's Tealus here. Welcome back to True Shot Lodge for the final time. It is daytime here, it's looking really nice, and we are ready to look at the last class overview for Hunters in World of Warcraft Legion. Unfortunately, I could not get to uh, the uh, True Shot Lodge on the actual 110 servers, um, because they finally, I guess, worked around my little fix that I had found to get myself to True Shot Lodge. So instead, I'm here on my leveling server, but uh, thankfully, I actually have my Hunter to level 110, so I'll be able to show you everything, and we will be able to look through the PvP talents very well once we get into the actual PvP talent section, which will not arrive until the next video. This is a two-video series looking at Marksmanship Hunters. The first video will be looking at the abilities that have changed for a Marksmanship Hunter, as well as the artifact weapon. Uh, the bow that is on my back right now. And then in the second video, we will be looking at the PvP talents and PvE talents for a Marksmanship Hunter coming in World of Warcraft Legion. Now, it should be note noted that uh, even though there are a lot of changes for a Marksmanship Hunter, this is, oddly enough, the least changed of the Hunter specializations. Uh, you guys have seen... Uh, already survival and beast mastery you've seen just how much they have changed uh, this class has changed even more so uh, well I shouldn't say even sorry that's incorrect this class has changed it feels just as much but it is the least changed of them so it's gonna be kind of interesting going through these changes it is going to be the spec that feels most akin to being the old school hunter um, but for the most part Everything has changed. We're going to go ahead and use these uh, training targets on the far right hand side because this is a very powerful AoE spec and I kind of want to have these multiple uh, targets in range that you guys can see. So with that let's go ahead and get into the removed changed and new abilities for a marksmanship hunter and then we will get into the artifact weapon. So with that just like all the other hunter specs uh, they've, a lot has been removed. So. Aspect of the Cheetah has been removed. Aspect of the Pact has been removed. How you remember those spells has been removed. Aspect of the Cheetah comes back as a new ability. Uh, nothing the way it used to be. Camouflage has been removed. It's actually a talent for Marksmanship Hunters, so you can get that back as a talent. But for the most part, uh, Camouflage has been removed. Chimera Shot has been removed. You, have, you guys have already seen Beast Mastery receive Chimera Shot. So it's kind of odd how they're changing some things around uh, with that. But uh, Chimera Shot has been removed. Uh, it is Beast Mastery now in their talent tree. Distracting Shot has been removed. Um, I'm not really sure why Blizzard decided to get rid of that, but they've just removed Distracting Shot overall from all Hunters. Hunters have lost all traps, uh, at least Marksmanship Hunters and Beast Mastery Hunters. They are now survival only, so Explosive Trap, Freezing Trap, Ice Trap, all three of those have been removed, and they are now exclusive to, um, they're now exclusive to a survival hunter. This is, a, I think, is a little awkward, not having your traps. Um, it, it makes sense for it to be a part of survival, but at the same time, it, it's a little weird not having your, your, your traps that you normally would have as a marksmanship hunter. Um, maybe Beast Mastery, I, I was kind of okay with the traps not being there. But with uh, marksmanship, it's kind of like you would set your traps up for defense and then you can attack from range. And then if that didn't work, you could uh, you had the traps to fall back on and you don't have that anymore, which is kind of weird. But um, it's no longer uh, available for marksmanship hunter. Kill Shot has been removed from all hunters. Uh, this is This hurts. It really sucks not having kill shot. Um, I really hate not having kill shot. Uh, it would make most sense to have it still on marksmanship hunters at least, but they have decided to literally get rid of um, all of uh, basically kill shot from all executes from all classes. So kill shot isn't the only thing that got hit. Hammer of wrath, etc. They've all just been removed, and you no longer have access to them for uh, many specs across the game. Master's Call has been removed. Uh, this is a survival PvP talent now. It really makes no sense. It really should be a, a Beast Mastery like baseline, but uh, we've been through that in the Beast Mastery video. But it is removed from Marksmanship, so you no longer have it. Uh, 
tranquilizing shot has been removed. This really stinks. I loved using tranquilizing shot. It was so funny to go up against the Frost Mage and Trank shot off their ice barrier, which was like their only way of surviving a battle. And then they just melted to pieces. Uh, and they usually would sit there kind of dumbfounded, like, how did that happen? And it all started with Trank shot. So it really does hurt not having Trank shot anymore. I don't know why they removed it. They really had no reason to move it. And so it is disappointing that they removed that from the game. Steady Shot has been removed. I am perfectly happy about this. I hated Steady Shot. I complained multiple times during Warlords of Draenor that Steady Shot and Cobra Shot, in their current form, the cast time generating focus, was not, uh, did not work very well for PvP Hunters. It just didn't. Because all you had to do was just hide behind, you know, a quick line of sight, and then you were constantly focus starved. And thankfully... Any type of focus generating ability now that is available to hunters is now instant cast. They got the message uh, from Warlords of Draenor. It is now finally in for this time around for World of Warcraft Legion. And it is much better. Hunters are much smoother in PvP than they have been in the past. However, as you can tell right now, we are losing a lot of, you know, kind of survivability here. Uh, trap Launcher has been removed. Uh, basically all the traps, you know, there's really no reason for Trap Launcher if all the traps have been removed, so makes sense that that is gone. Careful Aim has been removed. It's actually back as a talent, uh, so you have access to that through a talent. That was a passive um, that, let me, I'll just go ahead and pull it up here. It was a passive that allowed you Aim Shot, Arcane Shot, March, uh, your other abilities to deal more, uh, to have an increased critical strike chance with targets above 30%, uh, 80% health. Um, that is available as a talent still, but um, it is gone from baseline for hunters. Lethal shots has been removed. Uh, any type of baseline buff that was a raid wide buff or just a basic buff for yourself, like lethal shots was, has been removed from the game. I think lethal shots was multi strike. It was a multi strike. It was mastery or something. I can't remember. It's been removed from the game. Uh, critical. It might have been Critical Strike. They've they've just removed all those flatline buffs. You know the ones that were like, "Hey, here's a hint on what your main secondary stats to be." That was I thought that was silly. Um, players should find that out for themselves. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't have their hand held to try and figure out their class. Um, that was really kind of baby pandering there, and it, it was kind of it stunk to have that in the game. So I'm glad that it's gone. And then uh, as I just mentioned, True Shot Aura is now gone, and that's because all raid buffs, uh, as I mentioned, all raid buffs are basically removed from the game, and that's pretty much what True Shot War was by that time. So, let's look at the changed abilities. First, Aim Shot. You can no longer cast it while moving, okay? And its cast time has been reduced by 0.25 seconds. So you now have to stand still while using Aim Shot. Um, this hurts. I know it does. Um, and if I know you guys see that uh, that <laughs> lock and load trigger there, you're just gonna have to wait for the talents video to understand um, how it uh, how it functions. Uh, I will say, whereas um, whereas uh, the whereas marksmanship, uh, or I should say, beast mastery receives some stuff from marksmanship. Marksmanship's actually gonna receive a lot of stuff from survival. So uh, we're gonna see that in the talent tree. Uh, but for the most part, uh, marksmanship, uh, survival, the, the abilities that they lost were their main traps. And then they're going to receive some stuff from survival in their talent tree to kind of round out the spec as a whole. But uh, aim shot now, uh, still same focus cost, deals a ton of damage, 50 focus. This is your main focus dump, okay? Aim shot's going to be your main focus dump. I know this makes it very difficult in PvP, but there are other options and stuff for you to do in PvP, which um, could help out. Um, depending on the way you look at things. And locked and load is one of those things. Um, having uh, the ability to use aim shot on lock and load can really help a lot, which we'll get to in the PvP talent tree, I mean the PvE talent tree. But for now, just know aim shot, cast time reduced by 0.25 seconds, and you can no longer cast it while moving. Deterrence has been renamed Aspect of the Turtle. It now lasts 8 seconds up from 5, and that's pretty much it. It's got a new spell visual, it's got a little turtle shell over yourself, really nice. That is the new deterrence. Um, in past videos, I think I just said deterrence was removed and Aspect of the Turtle is a brand new ability. But the more and more you look at them, the more and more you realize that it's just the same ability, except for there is um, 
they, they've just they've basically just renamed it and given a new visual not sure why they did this uh, I mean maybe they w had bigger plans for aspect of the turtle and then they realized hey um, you know this isn't gonna work the way we want it to or this is too much like deterrence so then they just decided to use deterrence but then why get rid of deterrence's spell visuals and effects that are already in the game so I'm not really sure why they did this they just did Here's where things get interesting as a marksmanship hunter. Multi-shot will no longer cost focus, and it instead generates focus. And this is where, you know, you know, I guess you could say marksmanship becomes a really powerful AoE um, ability. By the way, I do not know where the two wolves spawn. They started spawning in the middle of my, um, they started uh, spawning in the, in the middle of my leveling. I think by the time I got to like level 105 or something, and I just, I started getting them, and I don't know what they spawn from. I think they will only spawn out in the open world. They won't actually spawn in, like, PvP or something. I could be wrong, but because I've seen a, a, a load of fairy dragons show up around a balanced druid before, and I've never seen those before except while leveling. So I think it's just something you get while leveling. But anyways, back to Mark Multi-Shot. It generates two focus per target hit. So I'm hitting four targets. I'm getting eight focus every time I hit now instead of losing focus. So this is something changed, and then it plays into one of the new abilities, which is really fun and interesting. So, with that, uh, let's move to Bombardment. So Bombardment no longer affects multi-shot focus. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Bombardment here, so you can see. Bombardment, your critical strikes with multi-shot increase multi-shot damage by 60% for 5 seconds. So now that it, it no longer costs focus, and instead generates it, um, you can get your multi-shot to start dealing some serious damage, which is pretty cool. Um, so you're going to have some great raid-wide uh, damage utility with marksmanship here, and I, I really do like that. So with that, let's look at Rapid Fire. Um, I originally was just going to say that this has been removed until I realized that it is very similar to a new ability. So Rapid Fire has been renamed True Shot. Not True Shot or just called True Shot. Okay. But it now also causes multi-shot and arcane shot to apply Hunter's Mark. Um, that is something that we're going to talk about in new abilities. Hunter's Mark is back in a way. So, do understand that Hunter's Mark is back in a way. And that Rapid Fire will now cause your multi-shot and arcane shot to apply Hunter's Mark. And they generally do not apply Hunter's Mark. So, that's just something that I want to you know, put out there that you know for future reference when we get to the new abilities. Lastly, the changes to Mastery Sniper Training. This is the best change for Hunters by far. I absolutely hate it as a Hunter. And they put this in as Marksmanship Hunter for so long, and it's been such a turnoff for Hunters for so long. The fact that you had to stand still for a while to get this damage buff. That is now removed. Thank goodness. I was so sick of being in PvP, and it did not work in PvP, uh, it was the same problems with Cobra Strike and Steady Shot. This was another thing that I complained about a lot, is having to stand still. And their idea was like, oh, if you stand still, you're, you're, like, you're like setting up your aim. Well, there comes a point in which realism and meets actual fun value, okay? And you cannot sacrifice um, fun value for realism. And that's what they were doing. Okay, there comes a point in which the realism is just, um, it's too out there, and it just becomes unfun, and that's what was happening with Master Sniper Training. Oh, I'm sitting here, lining up that big shot. No, that's dumb. Okay, so that has been removed. In addition, uh, the damage increase on Master Sniper Training is much bigger. So, Master Sniper Training, the range of all your abilities is increased by 14%. And the damage of all focus spending abilities is increased by 57%. Before, it used to be like the range of your abilities, the critical strike chance, uh, the damage increase is all increased by a flat 9%, so long as you're standing still for X amount. That's no longer the case. Now, it's just flat. Your range is increased by 14%, and your focus spending abilities, such as aim shot, are now uh, now deal 57% more damage. So mastery is pretty powerful on a marksmanship, and I'm perfectly happy to use uh, mastery now that they have actually changed that uh, to something uh, a little bit more worthwhile and a little bit more fun. They've gotten rid of that stupid standstill section of mastery, which I'm completely happy 
it is gone. Uh, so you can get an idea of the range of abilities now. Uh, I have a 46 yard range um, in this gear at the moment. I'm not quite sure how high it gets, but it, it does start to stack up. I will say it does start to stack up. I mean, my eye level's at 786. Uh, PVPers are locked in at something like, I think, 840 or something. Uh, the baseline gear that you start getting when you reach 110, I just got to 110, so I do not have, like, I've not gone out and gotten 110 gear. 110, the base gear that you start getting out of 110 is 805 and above, 810 and above. So, uh, your mastery level is going to increase, and I'm not quite sure how high your range will be, but, um, the idea for marksmanship is for them to be able to outrange every class in the game, which makes sense. You're the marksmanship hunter. Um, that's enough realism for me. You don't have to stand still or whatever. That that just made no sense. So, with that, let's go ahead and look at the new abilities for a marksmanship hunter. First is going to be Aspect of the Cheetah. I did say this returned in name only. And it's basically Aspect of the Cheetah, 3 minute cooldown, increases your movement speed by 90% for 3 seconds and then by 30% for another 9 seconds. So I believe the spell visual is still the same. But you get this nice, huge increase in movement speed, and then a small movement speed for a little bit afterwards. So, it's a defensive measure that you now have um, to replace the fact that you no longer have Explosive Trap, Freezing Trap, Ice Trap, etc. Um, that's kind of nice. Uh, for the most part, uh, other than Master's Call, you lost Master's Call and you lost your traps. And, basically, just think of Aspect of the Cheetah taking the place of your Ice Trap, I should say. Let's, let's put it that. It takes the place of your Ice Trap. So... There's one ability kind of taking its place. Next new ability, Arcane Shot is back. Um, I was actually really surprised. It's been a while since I played Marksmanship Hunter back on Live Client. Um, probably, uh, and it's, that's mostly because of, of stupid things like Steady Focus and, um, you know, the, the Mastery. Those really bother me, and I'm so glad that they're gone. So... Uh, basically, uh, steady focus has been in, is was in the talent tree. We'll get to that in the next um, in the next video. But you know, with the removal of mastery sniper training, I'm back to you know trying out and playing uh, marksmanship hunter. And I will say that I leveled the majority of my time as a marksmanship hunter, um, and I enjoyed it. It was very easy. It is one of the strongest specs to level as. Um, I would say it's really neck and neck with beast mastery hunter in terms of its ability to level. Um, very strong. So, with that being said, um, Arcane Shot is back. Um, I was surprised when I went back to my old version and realized that Arcane Shot actually wasn't there. I can't remember what spec it was on, but it was not on Marksmanship. Uh, instead, Marksmanship was basically using Steady Shot to generate stuff, and then Aim Shot was its main um, uh, expender. Uh, maybe I missed a talent that I had that actually replaced my Arcane Shot there, but I could not find it on my bars, so I was kind of surprised there. But Arcane Shot is a little different now. It deals damage, Arcane Damage, basic, um, but it generates 5 Focus. So this is your Focus Generator now. So this is really cool. Um, you know, I complained about Cobra Shot and Steady Shot. The main complaint I had with those was that it was not Instant Cast. It really needed to be Instant Cast uh, for PvP purposes. Uh, this is now Instant Cast. So now you can just fire off Arcane Shots as much as you want uh, to... Uh, Get your focus up, and then you can burn it with uh, aim shot down to zero pretty quickly. Um, I'm able to do this, though. Lock and load is, is allowing me to keep my focus up pretty high. So, uh, aim shot is your focus generator right here. You can see my focus starting to jump up as I use it, and that's pretty cool. So, with that being said, um, the next new ability is going to be bursting shot. So, um, explosive traps replacement is here. So Aspect of the Cheetah is basically the thing that will replace uh, your Ice Trap. Um, bursting Shot is what replaces your uh, Explosive Trap. And Bursting Shot, 10 focus, 30 second cooldown, fire an explosion bolt at all enemies in front of you, knocking them back, disorienting them for 4 seconds, dealing 11,000 physical damage. So, just going to use it up here real close. You see right there, hits everyone in range and knocks them back. Um, I'm not sure about the actual distance of the knockback. I would expect it to be somewhat large because, um, you know, the whole part of a marks hunter is you having range compared to the other person, and um, I would expect it to be at least a 20 or 30 yard knockback, but I'm not quite sure. I, I hope it's not something really wimpy and just like knocks them back 10 yards and then that's it. So, 
hopefully it'll be a lot more. It's disorienting them as all, so this is kind of the return for Scattershot. However, I'm not going to say it's the return for Scattershot because we still have the PvE and PvP videos to get to. So, it is its own new ability. It's a little bit different. It knocks them back and disorients them. It's pretty cool. Exhilaration is now baseline. It was a talent. It is now baseline. And it's a little different from Marksmanship Hunters. Marksmanship Hunters, they're playing into this idea that you don't have a pet, okay? They've decided that baseline you're going to have a pet and that you can talent into not having a pet. They decided that... Um, while there were a lot of people who didn't like having a pet, uh, there were quite a lot of people who actually still liked having a pet. So, instead of their original intent, which was to make Marksmanship a pure petless class no matter what, uh, we'll get, in, get to it in the video. Lone Wolf is still there, um, very early in the talent tree, except for at the very end, um, and you can play without a pet. Um, but, uh... Basically, with Exhilaration, they want to kind of emphasize that you technically are not playing with that. With, you technically, we feel that this should be a petless class, is what they're saying. So instead of 30% healing yourself, 100% healing your pet, it's just 50% flat heal on yourself. Um, and that's it. It's, it does not heal your pet at all. So that's different from the other Exhilarations on Survival and Beast Mastery Hunter. This one is just flat heal on yourself. So 50% of your health uh, is quite a lot. Um, it's a great survivability mechanism, and I believe there is even a, um, a passive that we'll get to in a second that will kind of um, um, make it even stronger, uh, allow it to be used more, I should say. Next new ability is Marked Shot. So this is the new uh, ability, and this will really play in the rotation. Marked Shot, 30 focus, rapidly fire shots at all targets with your hunter's mark dealing 66,000 physical damage and making them vulnerable for six seconds vulnerable is damage increased by mark shot and aim shot by 150 percent last six seconds stack up to one time i need to change a talent here so i can give you the actual baseline of that um of what it actually is um, because that is not accurate vulnerable damage taken from mark shot and aim shot increased by 25 percent Last 30 seconds, sacks up to three times. So that is the baseline for Mark Shot. Um, what I read first off is something we'll look at in the talent trees. The beginning of the ability still stays the same. Rapidly fire shots at everything with your marked, uh, with your hunter's mark. So before I get into showing Mark Shot and everything, let me explain Hunter's Mark, which is a passive. Your auto shots have a chance to cause your next arcane shot or multi-shot to apply marks hunter's mark okay hunter's mark activate activates marked shot so you cannot actually use marked shot until you actually have um a hunter's mark on the target so i actually just got the hunter's mark passive to proc right there so i'm going to use it on multi-shot so now everyone has hunter's mark on them you can see vulnerabilities are exposed and it activates marked shot now i can use mark shot and actually, the, the the crazy arrows that you saw coming out of nowhere—that's actually uh, that's actually a an elite uh, talent that you will get for the uh, for the uh, artifact weapon. Uh, excuse me, I cut, <laughs> got a little lost in my words there. Uh, that is an artifact uh, ability right there. Uh, Mark shot is a little bit different in how it shows. Let me show you again. Um, hopefully, it won't show up. As you can see, I just fire red arrows at all the targets. That is what Mark shot does. So that is the difference between the two. So um, basically, and it, it builds up over time. So as long as I'm able to get more marked shots off, as I'm going to be able to get right here, um, if I'm able to get more marked shots off like I am here, this basically now has two stacks, or it has three stacks because it lasts for 30 seconds. So that means my, my aim shot's now doing 75% more damage. It's all doing more damage. And it lasts for quite a while. So as you can see, it's still on there. It's an interesting mechanic for PvE. You have to make sure that it's still on there and still on your target. So uh, something to look forward to. It changes up, uh, you know, it changes up Marksmanship Hunters a little bit. It makes them a little bit different. And the fact that Multishot does not cost focus, it generates focus, makes things uh, different as well. And when you consider uh, that mark shot hits everything hit by your hunter's mark and then uh hunter's mark can proc off of multi shot um now you start to get an idea of how powerful of an aoe damage class marksmanship hunter is i'm not really sure how um raids are going to turn out but it's very possible that uh marksmanship hunter could be the actual 
number one top AoE damage dealing spec in the game by far. Um, not even close. Especially when we get into talents, it's going to be kind of absurd. So um, just look out for that. Um, and as you can see right here, as I use again, it all refreshes up to three stacks. So I'm basically always able to keep probably three stacks. Uh, the talent that I had selected um, for uh, in the talent tree is probably not something that PVEers will want to take because it's so easy to keep this 75 um, stack on there. And I'm dealing a lot of damage doing this here. So it's pretty cool. Um, I really do like it. And... Uh, it's interesting. I like Mark's shot. It's something interesting. They brought it in to change up Marksmanship Hunter. And with that, that's pretty much everything that you need to know in terms of how Marksmanship Hunter has really changed um, with World of Warcraft Legion. Yes, it's still closest to Hunters as they used to be. And, you know, the changes are your focus generator now is instant cast. Um, you now have something like Mark's shot um, that is a proc. That you have available to you you still have your aim shot dump which is the same and then you're going to have other abilities along the line and you're able to keep uh the vo you're trying to keep the vulnerability on the target for as long as possible that is basically um the new that is the new uh marksmanship hunter that is the closest to the way hunter is on live uh you have extended range now and you're basically trying to deal as much damage as possible from as far away as possible, which is pretty cool. So, with that being said, uh, that is every, well, not quite. We have one more little change, a uh, new ability to look over uh, before I get uh, to the artifact weapon. Uh, and I mentioned that this was coming a little bit early when I discussed exhilaration. Hunting Party, which if you remember, Hunting Party was actually, I believe, a survival talent back in the old talent tree. Um, I can't remember if it stayed with survival for a little bit after that, but I do remember it being in the old survival hunter tree. I remember this icon as well. Hunting party, after you kill a target, the remaining cooldown exhilaration is reduced by 30 seconds. So this is really nice to have. Um, uh, heal-wise, uh, exhilaration is a two-minute cooldown, so each time you kill a target, you know, that's another, uh, that's a, a fourth of, you know, its cooldown just going away, which is pretty awesome. So, uh... It's survivability there uh, just for Marksmanship Hunters, which is really nice. So, overall, in terms of ability, uh, you have Bursting Shot, which replaces your Explosive Trap. You have Ice Trap, uh, which is replaced by Aspect to the Cheetah. And then you have Exhilaration Baseline. So, all in all, um, I would say you still have Concussive Shot. I would say, all in all, you still have almost as much utility as you used to have on, um, on Live Clients. So, I wouldn't be too worried about marksmanship hunters at the moment uh, or any time in the future right now I think they're in a great shape so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the artifact weapon uh, which is going to be uh, basically it deals with the wind runners and I, I honestly chose marksmanship hunter because I was really excited about the, uh, seeing what kind of wind runner storyline was going on there but before we get into it let's look at the ability you first get which is called wind burst 20 seconds uh, 20 focus 20 second cooldown 1.33 second cast, focus the power of wind through Thaz Dora, dealing 182,000 physical damage to your target and leaving behind a trail of wind for 5 seconds that increases movement speed of allies by 50%. This is has great use in PvP rated battlegrounds, you name it. This is pretty awesome. Um, increasing their, their speed by 50% from a distance is really awesome. And I'm going to go back as far as I possibly can, which I believe is 46... Uh, yards. Uh, let's see. When we oh, we cut out right there. So 46 yards is about right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fire for wind burst, and you're gonna see this uh, kind of thing on the ground here. It does look like it has a little bit of a trouble with um, uh, over different uh, cliffs and whatnot. So that's something that uh, hopefully will be fixed. Uh, it's kind of like the problems with heroic leap and jumping up on cliffs. Um, hopefully that's something that'll be fixed. But that's a lot of dam damage. Uh, damage. <laughs> 182,000, uh, just to give you an idea, aim shot deals 58,000 damage. So, wind burst dealing 182,000 damage, that's really powerful. Um, it's a lot of damage. Um, right now, it says right now it's only dealing 125. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Um, maybe it's, uh, it's tooltip is declaring that it's doing more damage than it should. But for the most part, this is a lot of damage that it, it can deal. And there are a lot of really power shot damage in uh, abilities in... Um, 
marksmanship, marksmanship hunter, which we will get to as we go on. It's looking more and more like it could be a typo, but still 125,000 damage is way more than what aim shot's able to do. So on a 20 second cooldown, uh, that's pretty good. Um, aim shot though is doing less damage uh, against his target than uh, is shown on here, so maybe it's something to do with the target. Uh, so it could actually be 182,000 damage, which is a lot. Uh, it's much more than any of your other abilities. 20 focus, 20 seconds. I see it in the rotation. I think it'll be really good. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the artifact weapon. Um, it is called Thaz Dura, Legacy of the Windrunners. This is actually the Windrunners bow. Um, as you can see, you start right here with Windburst, and I've already kind of built my way up. Um, these two things that are uh, highlighted right here actually come from the top. Uh, maybe in a different video I'll explain uh, these abilities at the top, these uh, artifact relic slots. I'll explain them at the top, but for right now, don't worry about that. You basically still have to build your way through. Um, it does not help you build your way through. For instance, if I had... Uh, you know, if I was still building through this area right here, I would still have to build three ranks through it, um, even though I would have one here. So, with that being said, uh, Wind Burst is your first option. Your first ability that you get will be Wind Arrows, increase the damage dealt by Aim Shot by 10%, uh, a flat 10% damage increase. You have Quick Shot, reduces the cooldown of True Shot by 30 seconds, so that brings it down to a 2.5 minute cooldown, down from a 3 minute cooldown, so that's nice. Uh, three ranks, so that will be 10% per rank. You have critical focus, critical shot, uh, critical shot, arcane shot, critical strikes generate five additional focus. So it's nice to have that extra focus uh, burst for you. You have survival of the fittest, activating disengage reduces all damage you take by 10% for four seconds. So there's some survivability there. Uh, three ranks, so that'll be like uh, three, uh, three, six, and ten, or three, seven, and ten. I'm not quite sure on uh, the damage reduction. And then you have the first ability right here, which is Call of the Hunter, and this is what you saw with the massive arrows shooting out. Uh, when you marked shot, Thazdra has a chance to call forth a barrage of all wind arrows to strike vulnerable targets. Um, I mean, uh, you guys have seen it before. I'm not going to try here forever to try and get it to work again. Uh, but it does, you guys have seen it before, and you know what actually comes with it, so I'm not going to go into that. Precision. Uh, increases the critical strike of mark shot by 3%. Um, I believe that will be a maximum of 10% when it, once at full rank. So it'll be 3, 7, and 10, or 3, 6, and 10. I'm not quite sure uh, which it is. So three ranks there. We have marked for death. Mark shot increases your aim shot critical strike chance against targets against uh, the target by 5% for 10 seconds. Three ranks, so this will go up to 15%. Um, Increasing your critical uh, aim shot critical strike chance against target is really powerful. Um, let me go ahead and get out of combat here so I can stop uh, firing off there. Your epic ability here is Bullseye. When your abilities damage a target below 20% health, you gain 3% increased critical strike chance for 6 seconds, stacking up to 30 times. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how this plays out because, you know... It stacks up to 30 times, and if you want to get off as many abilities at a target below 20% health as possible and get it up to uh, 6 seconds, uh, it could be possible that when a PvE boss drops below 20% health, I'm not quite sure if this is correct or not, but you may see Arcane Shot spam until you get 30 stacks before switching back into your Aim Shot rotation. Not quite sure about that. But it's very possible. Um, 30 times, 3% increased critical strike chance. Um, it refreshes. It should refresh. Um, so just imagine that uh, 3% 30 times. That's a 90% 90% uh, critical strike chance. So you have an amazing execute through Thazdara, um as a marksmanship hunter uh, in a PVE format. More, I should say. Uh, you really won't see this uh, too much in PvP, but that is an amazing executability. Uh, you have a 90% chance when below 20% health, in addition to uh, if you decide to take talents that allow you to have it above 80% uh, health as well. So that's pretty cool. You have a lot of crit chance. Next ability here is going to be Rapid Killing. True Shot also increases your critical strike damage by 50% for its duration, so it really makes True Shot a really powerful cooldown to have. 
as rapid fire always was. Down here, if I decide to go the opposite direction, we have called shot. Increase the damage by multi shot by 3%. That'll be 3, 6, and 10, 3, 7, and 10. Uh, I'm not quite sure which way it is, but that'll be really powerful. We have Mark of the Wind Runner. Wind Burst also applies vulnerability to the target. So, uh, Wind Burst only hits one target. Um, you know, even though it, it leaves a trail of wind and it kind of looks like AoE, it only hits one target. But that'll be another ability that is available to apply vulnerability. Right now, the only thing that can apply vulnerability is Marked Shot. So, um... That'll be something that'll be useful uh, in PvP with the talent that I had earlier. Uh, it'll be useful also in PvE to also have Windburst able to do that. So that's a strong talent right there. Only one rank, so you just get that right off the bat. Deadly Aim increases the critical strike damage dealt by Aim Shot by 5%. That'll be 3 ranks, so that'll be up to uh, 15%. Uh, and then you pair that with the one that increases the critical strike chance of Aim Shot. Cr critical strike chance against the target by 5%, uh, you know, it makes aim shot really powerful. Aim shot is your focus dump, and it's meant to be really powerful. Gust of Wind reduces the cooldown of bursting shot by 5%. That's going to be 5% per rank, so 15% overall. Um, that'll bring it down to, it's 30 seconds, 15% is uh, quick math in my head. That's uh, 4.5 seconds out, so it's around uh, 25.5 seconds uh, for bursting shot then. Here you have Windrunner's Guidance, increase the damage done by Mark Shot by 3%. That'll be 3 ranks, so 3, 7, and 10, up to 10%. Down here we have uh, Healing Shell. Aspect of the Turtle heals you for 12% of your maximum health over its duration. So that's going to be 36% of your maximum health over its duration. So that's, I mean, you really have some great survivability. You have the Disengage up here, and then you have the Healing Shell. So you have... You can heal 50% of your health through exhilaration. And then with Healing Shell, another 36% of your health, uh, 3 ranks, 12% per rank, uh, when you use Aspect of the Turtle. That's so strong. Um, that's going to be a nuisance in PvP. I mean, I know people hated Deterrence before, but seeing that little shell pop up now and then it heals you for uh, a huge chunk uh, is, is pretty strong. Uh, 8 seconds... Uh, basically over, uh, you know, the duration of that healing up for that much. That's pretty powerful, and that's going to be annoying for PvPers to deal with. The last ability here is going to be Legacy of the Windrunners. Aim Shot has a chance to coalesce six extra wind arrows that also shoot your target. So it's just more power into Aim Shot, which is really strong. So, that buffs Aim Shot a lot. Um, you guys now have an idea of how the new Marksmanship Hunter works now. Uh, honestly, I think it's in a great place. It's completely different from, you know, the way Markmanship Hunter used to work. I am so happy that Mastery Sniper Training has gotten rid of the most cumbersome element of it. And now Mastery Sniper Training is all about increasing the range and damage of your uh, focus spending abilities, which is way better than the way it used to be. Um, and then things like Steady Focus that have been moved into the talent tree, we'll get into the next uh, episode or video, sorry, uh, much better than it used to be. And I am enjoying Marksmanship Hunter way more. This is actually the first time I've ever leveled as a Marksmanship Hunter. I almost always exclusively leveled as Beast Mastery because it was way better. And then I used Survival when I reached max level back when I first got my Hunter and Wrathful Lich King. So things are changing and... Um, Marksmanship Hunter has great potential, a lot of range, and they're intended in PvP to be the high-ranged, uh, uh, you know, kind of damage deal, uh, damage dealers at range. They're supposed to be able to outrange everybody. And then at the same time, uh, in PvE, you've got some really interesting options in terms of keeping that vulnerability up uh, and the rotations that you'll have, and you're going to get more out of it in the PvE and PvE p talent videos you're going to understand uh well with your pve talents at least for pve uh to understand what else you can possibly do with this spec which is even more fun so um it is the least changed of the hunter specs but it is no doubt very much different from the way it is on live so i hope you guys enjoy this video and you'll join for the next video looking at pve and pvp talents i will see you guys later tearless out